Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. I thought it would be fun to do a dessert this week. I haven't done one in a while. And I also thought it would be fun to use some of the peaches that grew off my trees and that I froze so I get fresh peaches any time of the year. I want to do a crostata. In pies, the filling is kind of the main thing going on. And what I like about a crostata is the ratio of crust to filling. It's like an open face tart, a little bit more rustic. And it's kind of really cool because you don't really have to worry about crimping the edges or anything like that. It's more free form. So let's get started. If you don't have the pleasure of having these beautiful peaches frozen. You can buy frozen peaches any time of the year at your local grocery shop. So I have my peaches, and when I think of a crostata, I think, what goes with peaches, Paula? And I say, Paula, I think almond goes with peaches. Don't you think, Lucas? I mean, Paula thinks so, so it must be right. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually right. Almonds for sure go with peaches, but you know what else I think? Dark brown sugar, not regular sugar, dark brown sugar. So I'm going to use that in my mixture for the peaches for our crostata. But thinking of almonds, I thought it'd be really pretty to garnish around the edges with almonds. But I want to take this crostata up a couple notches. You know how I like to do that. And I love Italian cooking. So why not throw a little creme on my crostata? So I have my sliced almonds, but I thought it'd be fun to do something with this almond filling. Now it's different than almond paste, okay? It's an almond filling. So I thought, well, I could just slap it on the pie crust and then put the peaches on top, but I want to take it up a little bit to next level. Everything's next level, I don't know why. So this, you can find anywhere. I got this at hy V. Oh, wait, oops, not this. I want to put this on the bottom, but I don't want it to spread. So let's add some cornstarch, two teaspoons of cornstarch. The other thing I want to whisk in there, just to give it a nice like creaminess. Cream. So I want kind of like a nice almond, what would you call it? Like a, almost like a pastry cream. Okay, let's start with a half a cup of heavy cream because this is just pure sugar, right? So I don't think I need to add any extra sugar. So this is a quarter cup. Let's whisk this in. I don't want it to be overpowering with the peaches. I want it to like complement the peaches, right? Anything you have left over from this solo filling, I mean, you could take if you have puff pastry, like that pepperidge, 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 pef, that pepperidge, pepperidge, <laughs> that pepperidge farm puff pastry, you could just Put that in between a couple pieces and bake it and throw some powdered sugar on top and you have an almond pastry tart. You could eat it out of the can, couldn't you, Luke? I dare you to eat it out of the can. Good. See this? I got a nice whisk on it. It actually is already, yeah, thickened up the cream. I want to heat this up a little bit to combine all those flavors and activate that um, cornstarch a little bit. Because you know when cornstarch warms up, that's when it starts to thicken. See how what happens with the heat? Everything needs a pinch of salt, right? So I'm cooking this over medium low heat. I just want to bring it up to a real, real, real soft simmer and then give it a couple whisks and set it to the side to cool. All right, let's put these, now that they're thawed, I want to put them through a fine mesh strainer here. We have our peaches thawed and drained and we have about four cups here, which is perfect. I'm going to put these into my bowl. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of flour in here and we're gonna mix it up in the peaches. And I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice into our peaches. This helps kind of bring out the peach flavor, but then it also helps from the peaches getting too brown. You don't want brown peaches and that'll happen once the air hits the peach. In goes about a half of a lemon. Give this a nice stir. Flour is gonna help thicken all that up. Mm -mm, raw flour and peaches. Okay, and let me pack in a quarter cup of dark brown sugar. Going in. See how nicely that's thickened up? Oh, if you could smell this, you would be in heaven just like I am. Just 
like Lucas is, right, Lucas? So in heaven. You know what? I'm going to add just a little bit of butter to that, give it an extra richness. Right on top. So let's whisk in this butter and then we will let this cool. So we're going to set this aside, but I think we should put some cinnamon with the peaches. How about like a half a teaspoon? I'll measure it out. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And let's throw in, because you know I like to use my salt as a balance. All right, so here, here goes a quarter teaspoon salt. God, Maya. Away, move away. Do it somewhere else. Go choke someplace else. I moved my almond, we'll call it almond cream, into a separate dish so it cools a little bit quicker. That's all I'm doing over here. Guess what? We have all the components ready. We have our almond cream, our peaches are done. Lucas, what are we missing? Ollie. No. Ollie's right there. Okay, I have the most amazing pie crust recipe in my creme cookbook one. If you, and it really is quick and easy. If you don't want to do that, you know I me, mean? I always try to make things easy for you guys. You can buy a pre-made um, pie crust in the store. I thought I would try this. I've actually not tried this one before. Okay, but look how fancy it looks. It looks Italian, doesn't it? It looks super Italian. In fact, it says European bakery style. I have my parchment paper here because I'm gonna make it on this and just transfer it to my cookie sheet because, you know, when you're doing an open face tart like this, what's it called, Lucas? Crustata. The only thing I was worried about, Lucas, is it said no lard. And we all know I like me some lard. Look at this. Oh, it looks really pretty. Besides that, I'll fix that up in a jiffy. I'm gonna roll this out a little bit, okay? And you know, none of this is gonna matter because it's rustic, it's a crostata. <laughs> Stay right there, hold the phones. Newsflash, oh God, my knee. That's a method to my madness. I know where I'm going with this, okay? It may not seem like I do, and I may keep touching my hair. All right, so we have our pie crust here. I'm gonna add my almond cream. I'm gonna leave some space for the edge. I know, I just don't want it to like fall out. I'm gonna get all this filling in there. I'm just trying to contain it before it spills over. Ah! Ow! No, we, we sprung a leak. Patch it we up. sprung a leak. Patch it up. I am making this fit. I'm sorry. We got it's it all a, in. Yeah, or nothing. It is going to. Well, it's good. I said that in the beginning. Yeah, okay. It'll spill over, but guess what? That's okay. You get those little crispy, crunchy things. Look, I got it all to fit. Look how I got that to fit, though. I know. You have to say. You have to admit. It's, it's semi-impressive. Is it leaking? In a few spots. Perhaps. But what you do want to do with this before you put it in the oven is get it in the fridge. Every time you're using a pie crust or pastry, you want it as cold as possible before it hits that oven. So let's let this chill for about 20 minutes. So I've let this chill for 20 minutes. I'm not worried about that at all. Lucas, don't be worried about it. Now this side's a little, we're just gonna like hoist it. Oh, that's where I just sprung a leak again. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. Oh God, I'm springing a leak over there too. Okay. This is what happens when you want to get the most out of your filling. Maybe you don't want to use four cups of peaches. Maybe you want to use three. But you'll see what this looks like. It'll look really cute when I'm done. Before we put it in our oven, I have it set to 375 degrees. Now let's make sure I'm opening the right side, which wasn't. I'm gonna take my cream and I'm gonna just brush it along the edges here. This is gonna give, this is gonna help the, the crust get nice and golden brown. And what, it, what else it does is it's gonna help to have these adorable sprinkles adhere. It is a nice sugar sprinkle, but there's also little cute little gold stars flecked in them. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put a few almonds around the crust. Look, this is amazing. Why is it so pretty? I don't know. I don't know why it's so pretty. Then we take these gorgeous sprinkles and sprinkle them on the edges. Look at the little stars. Mm -hmm. There's some more over here. Ugh, oh, 
so pretty. Into the oven it goes. We want it in there for about 40 to 50 minutes. I will be checking these hearts because those are going to get done first and I'm going to take them off. We have let our Cristada cool. This is a thing of beauty. I'm sorry, look how cute those hearts are. Did I leave those hearts in the oven too long and forget about them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, sure did. I think they're still gonna be okay because it looks adorable. Now, I wanna finish this off and make it look spectacular. Ready? First and foremost, powdered sugar. Watch this. Magical. I did, I mean, look at how cute that is. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pour a little bit, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more of our little sugar crystals with the stars. Can you zoom in on those stars? I mean, so cute. We're just gonna do this. Right over the top. Do you need binoculars to see the stars? Maybe. Blueberries go great with peaches. I thought it'd be a perfect way to kind of dress up our cristata. I rinse these off. And watch how I'm gonna layer these. So I'm using the hearts as kind of the focal point. And I just wanna kind of put all those berries right around the hearts. That's where I'm gonna cluster them up the most. Okay. From there, as I go around our crostata, you're gonna just kind of start narrowing down just a bit. So we've dressed it up with some berries, some powdered sugar, and of course my favorite, sprinkled sugar with the cute little stars. So let's cut into this. I'm just not gonna cut into the cute little hearts yet. Gooey, gooey, so juicy. Look at that. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. But you know what else is gonna make it even more perfect? Ice cream. Ice cream. But no. Right? To serve, I would just sprinkle this all over the plate. And then what I would do is take a fork, dig on in. That almond custard is so good. Just enough almond does not overpower the fabulous flavor of the peaches. I gotta try it one more time. I love the ratio of the pastry dough and the fruit in the middle. I know it seemed like I put a lot of fruit in there. You guys, incredible! You have to make this because I'm telling you what, I think it's gonna be a staple in our house. Also, that store-bought pie crust, European style, I will buy that again. It's got such a good bite to it. Remember, don't forget, put it in your fridge before you pop it in the oven, okay? I'm gonna tell you, as always, I'm so happy you're in my kitchen with me. I love it, I have so much fun. So does Lucas, he sure does. And you guys just remember to like, subscribe, send in your photos, keep sending them in, I love them. And until next week, right? You don't know what's coming up, but I do.